all of your Cougar teams were on the road this weekend. To find out how they play away from H-Town, keep watching this episode of In The Game. What's up, Cooks? I'm Abraham Figueroa. After bringing home the Bayou Bucket in the opening game, followed by an outstanding win against Arizona last week, the UH football team will go on the road to face Texas Tech this weekend at the Jones AT&T Stadium. The Cougars will be looking to bring their winning ways with them to Lubbock, but would the Red Raiders comply? First quarter, junior quarterback D. Eric King with an 18-yard touchdown pass to Rael Singleton. Cougs tied 7-7. Later, King with the pass to Stevenson for a 50-yard touchdown. Houston takes its first lead of the day. Antoine Weasley gets a 50-yard touchdown and the Red Raiders tie the game 14-14. D. Eric King throws another touchdown to Stevenson. Second quarter, 7.28 on the clock. Keith Corbin for the touchdown and Houston back in front. But Texas Tech would take the lead going into halftime, 35 to 28. Third quarter. Terrence Williams, nice cut into open space. Terrence Williams, touchdown Houston. Unfortunately, the Red Raiders offense would continue to pile it on. Bounce into the sideline, end zone, touchdown. Henry, right side, with a seam, and a touchdown! With a flip to the outside, and he's got the corner for the touchdown! At the end, Cooks fall to Texas Tech, 63-49. Next, they will face Texas Southern this Saturday at TDECU Stadium. Also on the road this weekend was the UH volleyball team. For an update on that, here's a studio reporter, Jalen Mason. Thanks, Abraham. This weekend, Cougar Volleyball competed in the exhilarating Robert Morris University Tournament. In the first of three games, the Cougars faced the Eastern Michigan Eagles where Houston would bring home the win in four sets. The victory was thanks in large part to tremendous efforts by freshman middle blocker Kendall Haywood with a career high of 17 kills, along with sophomore outside hitter Sylvia Purdens who had a season high of 12 kills against the Eagles. Afterwards, the Cougars would go on to win their second game of the tournament, this time against DeQuince University in another four-set round. Sophomore outside hitter Gabby Zalea scored her second double-double in the win, and junior libero Katie Carbo contributed 20 digs. Lastly, the Cougars fought their most intense five-set battle against Robert Morris University. Houston persevered until the very end, but suffered a heartbreaking loss with a final score of 15-12. Both sophomore setter Abby Irvine and sophomore outside hitter Gabby Zalea recorded double doubles and junior libero Katie Carbo had a career high of 29 digs. Overall, I'd say Cougar Volleyball had an amazing weekend. Thanks, Shayla. Now let's kick it and talk about the women's soccer team. This past weekend, they faced Air Force and Colorado College in Colorado Springs. The Falcons got on the scoreboard early on the 23rd minute. Five minutes later, sophomore Mia Brasia centered the ball after a corner kick and that would glide off the head of an Air Force defender. UH tied the game 1-1. At the end, Air Force and UH tied the match 2-2. Next, they faced Colorado College on Sunday. After Colorado took a 1-0 lead, UH freshman forward Natalie Anderson tied the game for the Cooks. It was not until the second overtime on a corner kick. A header will go in the net and give the victory to Colorado College 2-1. Well, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to go to uhcougars.com for more Cougar sports. Also, to not miss out more episodes of In The Game, go ahead and like Cook TV on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Abraham Figueroa. Until next week, thanks for watching. <laughs>